G'day viewers, fellow gold refiners, gold lovers in general. Welcome back to my series of refining recovery without the use of nitric acid or with as little as possible used. I hope you are enjoying this series. Um, I'm trying to make as many as I can think of. Uh, in the comments, please leave me a uh, request if there's something that you want to see. I may already be in the process of making it or I may not have thought about it. Um, so let's carry on with another one from the series. Okay viewers, in this video I'm going to do CPU slots. I know I've done these before, but I'm going to do this without nitric. So what I should be doing is putting these in a nitric bath to dissolve the metal, but I'm not going to. It'll be a dirty mix, but I'm going to go straight for the gold. So I've tried to clean the plate. It's better than what it was, but I just can't get them stains up. Clean beaker. And I've tried to stack these in a way that I can use as less acid as possible. Now I'm going to put um, HCL in there and bleach and just go straight for the gold deal with a dirty solution it doesn't matter too much really because the gold inside is really dirty and needs to be refined this will go with that so I'll put the hydrochloric acid and bleach in and I'll be back I need two hands okay um, I forgot to mention that those uh, CPU slots have already been soaked in hydrochloric acid to remove any tin from solder so that's not one thing I don't have to worry about. Now it's just a waiting game. I add more bleach as I need it. And uh, hopefully it won't take too long. I'll try and get this video out quick as I can. As you can see, the fumes have stopped. So it's time to add some more bleach. And because it's hot, Got to be very careful putting it in there or overflow. Just little bits at a time. Doesn't matter how much you put in, just put in small amounts at a time. I'll put in just enough so that there should be some more fumes if there's anything else to dissolve. It's just normal liquid bleach. Nothing special. Doesn't have to be concentrated. I'll put the lid back on and see if there's any more fumes come up. It'll take a while. If I don't see any more fumes, then I know that everything is dissolved. And uh, then I can take the plate off and just boil off that bleach. The best thing about using bleach as opposed to nitric is with nitric you have to denox it. With bleach you don't. You just let it boil away and it evaporates. So I'll give it a few minutes and see if any fumes come up, but I suspect it's been long enough now that all the gold has been dissolved. It's been five or ten minutes since I put the bleach in and there's no fumes. So I'm fairly certain it's all been dissolved. Uh, there, was, there wasn't much to start with, 38 slots, that's not many, so I definitely think it's been long enough that they should all have been dissolved. So I'm taking the lid off. I'll leave it on heat for a little while. And we'll boil away that bleach. Well, I've had it on heat now without the lid on for about two hours. You can see some of it's evaporated. Um, might just top it up with some HCL. Cool it down and then uh, filter it. Ready to drop the gold. Okay, I've topped it back up with HCL. Uh, any bleach excess that was in there would have boiled off by now. I'll do it, turn the heat off, so I just let it cool down now, and I'll be able to filter it. So I'm gonna make some copper eyes. And for those who haven't seen me do it before, my previous videos, I just get some iron sulfate, ferrous sulfate, put it into a beaker, dissolve it in some hot water probably doesn't have to be hot but I prefer to use hot water 
and then I've got to filter it because there's bits in there like iron filings and so on and get all that out so I'll do all that now add some HCL till it turns green and then I can use it some brands of ferrous sulfate when it's dissolved in water uh, has a brown appearance to it and according to the book of CNM hoax uh, refining precious metals she says to add hyd hydrochloric acid until it turns green well the brand I'm using you can see it is already green um, sometimes I add hydrochloric sometimes I don't uh, it works both ways for me and can you see the rubbish in the middle there that's all the iron filings and bits and pieces that you don't want in the solution that's why I've got to filter it but yeah mine's already got a nice green appearance uh, just for shits and giggles I'll probably put some HCL in there but I, I know I don't need to I just like to follow the book if I can. If I don't have much hydrochloric, I don't worry about it, but I've got plenty. So I'm filtering it at the moment. And uh, once I've done that, I've got it ready, then I'll filter the gold, add this to it and drop it. Late last night when I finished filtering the AR, I put the copper as in and so now I'm going to pour off the surface and see I've looked and I can't quite see any gold but that's why I hate having such dirty solutions it's going to be really contaminated with copper and other things um, but let's see if there's anything there oh, I've dried the gold um, pretty clumpy and it baked hard in the beaker, I managed to scrape it out. 0 0.35 of a gram. I don't know if you would consider that good or not. I guess considering I didn't have much to start with, it's alright. So uh, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. If you've got something nice to say, that's great. If you haven't, say it to someone else. Joking. Alright, see you on the next video. Bye.